So in this video, we're going to talk about the new WANLink templates in release 9.2 and how we can use them uh, to create site configs very rapidly. So in our example here, we're going to use uh, two different templates, one for an internet WANLink. Um, we want to do bandwidth and IP address learning. And then we'll also create a private intranet circuit point to point T1 uh, with 1.5 megabits of traffic. And then obviously when we've created these templates, we can reuse them across multiple sites and if we need to change anything in the configuration template we can obviously do that and that gets applied to all the sites using it so we'll go to our configuration editor and this is done on the basic configuration tab um, and what we can do is we can click on network and we can add a wan link template we'll call it internet dynamic we can specify a fallback uh, bandwidth. In this case, I'll just say, if I can't measure it, set fallback to 10, 10 megabits in each direction, but I'm gonna auto learn uh, the, the bandwidth. We're gonna measure it when we come up and then apply that measured bandwidth to the configuration. So we've created our internet dynamic one. We'll also create um, private uh, P2P. And we know this is always gonna be 1.5 megs, so we'll do 1500. And we'll uncheck the auto learn. So that's our two WAN link templates created. Now we can add them to a site. So we'll click on the sites tab. We'll go to San Francisco. Note you only use WAN link templates on the client sites. You don't use them at the MCN. And as you can see here, I've I've got San Francisco. I've got the interfaces already configured. I'm going to go to the WAN links. I'm going to give him a name, SFO Internet 1. I'm going to say it's public internet. Virtual interface is VLAN 3 and Internet Dynamic WANLink template. And you notice it grays out everything else. Click Apply. And then we'll add the second one. So SFO P2P. It's private intranet. We're on VLAN number two, because I have to, I can't learn the gateway here. I'm actually going to do the gateway by default. And then again, we'll take private template and you'll notice it automatically applies the, the, the settings from the template. And that's it. We save it and then we can apply that configuration to the network as we need to. Thank you.